All right, this is Rumor Control. Here are the facts. A leaked synopsis and brief description of Alien Romulus has been making its rounds over the last few days, one that sounds pretty intriguing. I was debating whether or not to talk about it here just because I really couldn't say for sure if this is at all true, and usually would want to wait until there's some kind of official word on it. But, as we have been experiencing with Alien Romulus, 20th Century Studios has been keeping fairly quiet about details. We literally only had official confirmation that its title is, in fact, Alien Romulus about two weeks ago, when we've all known for months. Even the fact that it's meant to take place story-wise between Alien and Aliens was a leak, and confirmed by one of the film's actors in an interview. Still not actually officially confirmed. But at this point, I think it's something we can trust enough to be true and accurate. So, as it would seem, there have been some test screenings of Alien Romulus, at least according to a Twitter account that specializes in movie production scoops. This account, V Scooper, has a fair enough history of posting leaks that would actually end up being confirmed. This is what V Scooper posted about Alien Romulus's description. A group of scavengers depart their home planet for an abandoned spaceship, aiming to steal equipment. Unleashing baby Xenos and the fearsome Xenomorph in a gory battle. More chest rips and stunning visuals, staying true to the franchise's essence with some twists. There's a few follow-up posts expanding on this. Alien Romulus will show us up close a new planet with a gritty civilization, as well as the abandoned space station filled with facehuggers and the perfect organism lurking around. Lots of suspense, gore, as well as action with tech and guns await. And this, the Utani space station contains several cryochambers of xenomorphs. What purpose do they serve there? Any secrets and twists are about to be uncovered. Finally, they posted a response regarding what exactly these twists may be, stating, Alien Romulus has more to unfold. I did try to play very safe, and really hoping no one tells. But it has some big surprises and a bigger premise in the Alien franchise's lore. Besides, its amazing suspense and action is already a huge payoff. It all sounds very interesting, and I'm somewhat inclined to believe that these details are accurate. Again, this account has had previous information later verified and confirmed by scoops on other movies in the past. But it could all be a complete fabrication for all we know, so I will say take this with a grain of salt. I'll also say I do sincerely appreciate that whoever is operating this account is at least careful in not giving too much away. And it does kind of sound like they're trying really hard to hold back on some juicy details. Personally, I'm not all too big on getting all these details and plot points from leaks before a movie is released. Generally, I like to go in as fresh as I can. I like to be surprised, but some things are unavoidable. I've been seeing these leaks shared everywhere, so I thought it might be worth talking about. I guess we'll only know for sure once an official synopsis is released, and once we do finally get some kind of trailer. Something I should note about these scoops is that there seems to be an inconsistency between one post and the next. First, it's described as an abandoned ship, but then later described as a space station. Could just be an innocent gaffe in language, but it's either one or the other, though one of the accompanying visuals on these posts is that of what certainly looks like a space station on a ship. So maybe that is what we're dealing with here, but I do actually recall a conversation I had with the good folks at the Perfect Organism podcast months ago where they mentioned a few details in an Alien Romulus News Roundup roundtable. Apparently, there had been leaked audition tapes of the cast from the film, and within the dialogue they delivered, there was mention of an abandoned spaceship. Not a space station, but a spaceship, so in one way this really tracks, and in another way I guess it doesn't. Maybe, just maybe, there's actually both. But the existence of an abandoned ship immediately brings up the speculation that it could be the Covenant all these years later. Maybe in rough enough shape that it's simply not recognizable and never confirmed as such in the actual film. While that is purely speculation and for sure opens up an entirely different can of worms, I actually think that's an ideal way of starting fresh with a new story but also somewhat connecting to the previous without explicitly doing so. That's kind of an interesting way of bridging these in a way that would be apparent to the committed fans but inconsequential enough to someone who may not have seen the others or simply doesn't care about how they may or may not connect to the Scott prequels. Just something to consider. Though big twists are promised, I think it's a solid enough premise if it is in fact the premise. Whether it is a spaceship or a space station, or both. 
We have the haunted house concept, which is tried and true. Monsters hidden in the dark corners. Promise of gruesome scenes. We know for sure that there will be at least one standout gruesome scene, confirmed by actress Isabella Merced. And apparently, some notable new technology and weapons will be introduced. It sounds promising enough. I do kind of hope it is accurate. But what do you think? Could this be a legitimate leak of the actual plot? If so, do you find it interesting? Do you think that Alien Romulus could possibly end up tying to Alien Covenant in such a particular way? I know a lot of people really want to have at least some kind of resolution to what was set up in Prometheus and Alien Covenant, so would this be satisfactory? I know others just want a fresh start and something new and to stay as far away as possible from Scott's prequels, so would only a vague suggestion of the Covenant be fine or best to just leave it out completely? And of course, I know there are plenty of people who seem to have already made up their mind and predict that no matter what, any new Alien movie is gonna suck. If you're in that category, I'm not really sure why you're watching this video, but surely you must have some kind of curiosity, morbid or otherwise. Do these leaked plot descriptions sound like maybe there's some promise? Does it inspire even the teeniest, tiniest sliver of hope? Please leave a comment below and share your thoughts. I'll keep an eye out for more details in the future, hopefully nothing too spoilery, and if it is, I'll give fair warning. But I think what we have here so far is general enough. But who knows, we could be seeing more very soon. Further leaked information out there actually claims that a trailer for Alien Romulus has already been cut together and is ready and could be released within the next few weeks or so. A lot of people are betting on Alien Day, and I'd take that bet. We'll know soon enough. And until next time, this is Alien Theory, signing off.